Welcome back, gamers. We're uh, checking out today uh, the new Condemned to Bloodshot. And our uh, favorite Firebox here is going to be checking it out with us, giving us a lowdown of the um, the latest, hottest sequel to the, one of the most original Xbox 360 titles, the original Condemned, starring uh, Ethan Thomas, right? Yes. The crazy guy talks like this all the time. I really know what's going on. Kind of sort of know. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I get something to stick to uh, reviewing titles. But anyways, uh, for the most part, we're gonna be checking out Condemned 2 Bloodshot. Now, you said it in your original interview, right? You like games like this? Yes. Like, I. What, what do you what like? What do you like about this game? Because you can't kill people in real life, so why not do it in a game? <laughs> do you have like a, you have an angry side, don't you? Is that what they call yeah. your firebox? Get fire, yeah. all fired up. That, that's part of the reason why, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really explain the other why. There's other reasons, but. There's other reasons? Yeah, there's other reasons. I mean, you've been a big fan of the first one, right? Yeah, really big fan. What's the What's the difference so far? Does it, like, does it make any sense whatsoever between the two? Um, the first one kind of left you with a cliffhanger, and it starts off more confused than. I actually haven't had a chance to play this. I've been seeing the trailers everywhere. Uh, I was kind of excited to get my hands on this game, but uh, I guess Firebox got her uh, pause on it first. And uh, I guess we're going to check it out, right? Yeah. Let's check out Condemned 2 Bloodshot, Xbox 360. Now let's get started with the review of Condemned 2 Bloodshot, the anticipated sequel to Condemned Criminal Origins. I know I'm pretty uh, excited and anticipating. I'm anticipating uh, all, the, uh, all the multiplayer action. Supposedly this game has multiplayer action, right? Yeah, it's a new feature from that wasn't involved in the first one. Really? Well, who do you play as? Like, I guess it's online? Who you can you? play as a bum, which is pretty cool. It's all about the bums. Yeah, why wouldn't you want to be a bum? Why wouldn't you want to be broke? <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> take, take to the streets. The mean streets. Where does this game take place, anyway? This game actually takes place, well, it starts off on the streets, and then you get into a hotel. And the game basically takes place in this hotel, where Van Horn, the character you're looking for, is supposedly last seen. Well, you just hit the, hit the hay? Yeah, nowhere to be found. Left a desperate message. Yeah, for Ethan Thomas, who, is, of course, is the main character. And Homeboy looks, like, drunk and confused and all sorts of twisted up. Yeah, I mean, if you got kicked off the special crime unit force, I think you'd be a little upset. Oh, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Just a little, just a little bit. So what are the, um, the story starts out with Ethan Thomas. I was watching you play. So you start with Ethan Thomas, and you got to find your friend, I guess, from the first one, right? Which was Van Horn. And uh, what's, the, what's the, the first mission? is pretty, pretty intense, right? Yeah, well, the first mission, it actually starts off with a tutorial where you learn how to use combos, which is very different from the first game because you can only use one hand. Sorry, guys, there's no taser in this one, but you can do multiple combos. You can't hold two weapons in both hands, but you can use both hands throughout the whole game. And I saw you, like, rush at a character before. Like, there's, like, even rushing combos, right? There's hand-to-hand, -hand, there's, there's, like, rushing, there's... Yeah, hand, hand to feet. <laughs> hand to feet. And there's a combos menu. I think you pulled, I saw you pull up like a combos menu, like it was a fighting game or something. Yeah, that was really cool. So if you forget the combo, you can always go back to it. And, uh, yeah, what about like the drug? It seems like he has to, you like pound some drinks or something before. Yeah, you definitely want to pound some drinks if you're using the gun, any type of gun, because his hand gets very restless. And in order to steady it, he has to drink. The alcohol does run out, but if you can find another bottle, you'll be fine. Yeah, because I'm looking at running into some guys drinking, holding 45s. Nice. All That's right. the only way to, to shoot, is when you're drunk. And it looks like you can pick up anything. Like, I just saw you pick up some, like, poo-poo, pachu, -poo like, toilet seat. <laughs> Definitely like... the poo-poo, pachu, -poo toilet seat. It's not my favorite weapon. Maybe the prosthetic leg or the arm brace. Or two by four. It's oh, when I saw that part, you, you took like the uh, the man, the, the dummy, like uh, claw arm. Yeah, the you the prosthetic really... arm. Yeah, it's pretty. It's the, the you come at you with the claw. Yeah, it's it's pretty. It's pretty good. That's pretty badass. So and uh, like the like the enemies in this game is it looks like pretty tough. Like I didn't even. Yeah, notice. they're they're carried over from the second game. I mean, from the first game. Oh, that's right. 
<clears throat> so I noticed the uh, characters are pretty tough in general. Like, you really kind of take a beat down sometimes. Yeah, they're carried over from the first game, but they're, like, super crackheads now. You know, they come at you with needles. They're in their underwear. Their faces look like they're chewed off. There's also a juiced-out cracky. He might be my favorite. The juiced? Yeah, he's a little. The juice. Yeah, he's a little harder to beat, but if you rush him right away and make sure you give him a beat down, you should be fine. Now, make sure you have a weapon. Now, graphics-wise, um, I guess you played it on HD, right? How is it? On HD, it's it's awesome. It gives it a scarier effect. There's more suspense. It's because the shading and like just the everything about it. I mean, I turned, I saw you turn around. And it was like six guys behind you out of nowhere. So it was pretty like. Yeah, that was that was a little was frustrating, scary. but it was it was good. It was good. You always need a good fight, a good challenge. Now, what like what's the main goal though? Aside from like looking oh. at dead people and tossing tossing ass around. The main goal is to find Van Horn, who is your supposedly your only ally. He helped you in the first game. Um, throughout the game. There's TVs and radios that you have to adjust the antenna, and this person who's supposed to be on your side, he tells you that different ways to get through the game. He tells you that if Van Horn dies, you die. So, basically, you're trying to find out the clues of how to get to him. You're trying to figure out all of the confusion that you were left in the first game. Yeah, because it seems kind of like, as you play, I'm kind of confused myself, but... Yeah, so, it... so am I. It's, <laughs> and, and, but it's it's all right. Um, if you remember in the first game, or if you haven't played it, there was this whole epidemic with the dead birds and this bird virus. Well, it comes back to haunt you in the second one because there's these sonic transmitters that if you don't smash them, you, get, you feel sick, you get blurry. Um, the dead birds are around. Friday night. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> definitely my favorite. If the dead birds are around, then you know that the sonic transmitter is there because it makes them weak and their heads explode because they can't take the sound. Nice. Speaking of explosions, isn't like uh, this. I guess this one's. A, is this one even more violent than the last one? Or is it about the same? Oh, definitely violence more fans? violent. There's. You could see the blood pouring from people's heads. You could. It's. It's amazing, especially. When you blow up meth labs, who doesn't want to blow up a meth Yeah, exactly. Lab? Yeah. He, he kind of gets high off of it, too, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, man, everybody gets high when they get off meth labs. You know, because we're all looking, looking to start our own meth lab. Oh, Not... de- definitely. <laughs> nice. All right, so, anyway, I, I don't know, I definitely want to try this out. I've been watching Firebox the entire time play this title, so I'm definitely impressed. I haven't really played the first one. I'm going to give it a shot just because I'm watching you play. Oh, yeah, so the detective rank, like... Like, what exactly is that? It's new, and it's kind of cool, but it's a little discouraging. I haven't really tried playing this um, more than once, but throughout your examination of a crime scene, they give you options, whether if you find a police cap, they ask you what kind of hat is it. If you find a dead body, they ask what kind of clothes they're wearing, what's missing from them, does the blood look like it's from splattered or crossed. Does it change the storyline in any way if you get everything right? Well, yeah. if you sort of answer promise. wrong, it says poor, and your forensic expert on the other end gives you either a poor ranking and tells you that you can't go any further and that you need to find more clues. So that definitely looks, sounds like intriguing. I haven't played the first one. Definitely going to check out the second one after this. Uh, so Firebox, honestly, what, what would you like give this overall i mean i guess you're pretty impressed with this right yeah definitely i i would give it a 90 and a score of four lonnie faces four lonnie faces lonnie's pretty excited too he was like watching us no he he actually looked a little scared i'm not i'm not gonna lie he looked like he (laughs) might have wet his pants he looked like the five lonnie face (laughs) (laughs) yes but we we can't give him the five Lonnie face, but he looked yeah. like it. a four Lonnie face. That's not bad. So it's like and in the ninety, right? So yeah, it's, it's a, a it's good, a it's a good sequel. It's a good sequel. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Firebox is just officially reviewed. Condemned Bloodshot. Uh, if you guys haven't checked that out, the, either the first Condemned or the second one, you can check to the right of the video description, and uh, to see more games like this and in particular this title, uh, check to the right of the description. Click on the link to VideoGameCentral.com. I'm Old School Fool. And I'm Firebox. Thanks for watching our review. Check you out.